Okay, so today I got for you guys odometer error. Um, I don't think I've actually shown how to fix this before in a video, so I will be showing that in this video today. Um, but the real reason why I'm recording this is this right here. Uh, so he's another local nearby for us. He's up in Albany, Georgia. And uh, yeah, he rebuilt this instrument cluster. He charges a little more than I do. And he took their money and then gave it back to them like this. Uh, said, oh, that's not something I can fix. I bet anybody watching this channel right now knows how to fix this, but I'm going to show it anyways. You know, we're just going to pull the CPROM off and reprogram it. So, um, we'll get to it. At least he uses all new X27s. I can give him credit there. That's that's nice of him. Oh, uh, we might have something going on with the, all this gunk going on here, because that light is trying to light up. So, we'll see what's going on there. But, yes, this one is absolutely filthy and this is how they get it back from the guy that rebuilt it for him um so i'll be cleaning up the board here seeing what i can do about that i mean that almost looks like liquid damage but then you start scratching it. it's waxy whatever this is it's some sort of wax that's all over the board so not 100 percent sure what's going on there but man that is some those are some ugly cold solder joints on there didn't even touch up these guys uh, didn't even yeah didn't didn't touch a lot of them just just went for that which brings up the prindle um so yeah Ugh. you know i've been telling people i think he does all right work because i've never heard a complaint about him but now that i've actually seen one this is my first time getting one of ron's boards um yeah, it's uh, Ron Bigger up in Albany, Georgia did this previous repair, and man, is this a mess. Um, and it's, to, to me, it's ridiculous to take take the $90 and then be like, oh yeah, by the way, I can't fix that after you've been paid. I didn't mention it before you got paid that you didn't fix the whole thing. But um, yeah, that's uh, why you lost a customer and I gained one. Um, so I'm going to get into this repair, and uh, we'll uh, see what else is going on here. Okay, so uh, first thing I did was just go ahead and take off these these two uh, stepper motors just to get them out of the way. It's kind of hard to get at that bulb with them there. It's kind of it's just easier to work on these with that out of the way. So took them off. When I was uh, taking them off, I noticed uh, this solder pad right here was already partially lifted. So that's another uh, thumbs down for for Ron there. Um, so let's go ahead and start reflowing all of these common problem areas, and then we will get to. Uh, the rest of this. So let's grab the roll of solder and get started on this. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and remove all these bulbs because they wanted blue LEDs put on after, so... Okay, now we got all the bulbs off. Throw those to the side. Let's take care of this important step of uh, erasing Ron's name off of here. Let's just uh, get that. Wouldn't want anybody to confuse uh, his work with mine, so we'll just take that right off the board. Yeah, that's taken care of. Remember this wax says alcohol doesn't want to take it off. 
Scrapes right off though. I really don't know what that is. All right. Let's take a little rubbing alcohol. Get all the flux off. missed a couple of these. Let me take care of them. They're over in the uh, buck converter, or boost converter, sorry, for the screen over here. get this hot air station out and actually do the repair for this one. And by the way, look at what he did to this screen here. Tore it up. Yeah, it's a shame. He also broke the tabs. What a noob. Oh well. And I know he's not a noob. He's been doing this longer than I have. It's just pathetic. Alright. Let's get some flux. Put this proper amount of flux here on the EEPROM. See this hot air station. Let's do it to it. Oh, I need to turn the temperature up. Channel 1. Okay, so we're just going to take a read off of this one, and then we'll put a new one on. So here are my replacement EEPROMs. We're just going to dump this one, see if we can at least salvage the mileage off of it, and then get right back to it. So let me uh, switch over here to the uh, screen. Y'all have seen me put it in the tool. We're just going to use the same thing I always use, hiding underneath here. So let's get it in there and take a dump. We have on this side the um, corrupted dump that I pulled off of there and uh, I tried to correct the uh, odometer reading on here to see if that'd fix it still didn't work sometimes sometimes fixing this will work sometimes it's corrupt somewhere somewhere else on the EEPROM so if this e this EEPROM was just too far gone to salvage what was on there so I went ahead and put a dump off of a similar year um, so hopefully uh, customer won't have any problems with it, but if he does, uh, because uh, sometimes they'll have different software on the two of them, so that would be the problems he'd run into. So if he does run into that, that'd just be covered under the warranty, and I would just uh, swap it out with a different dump. Uh, I was trying to find one for his specific truck, but I just don't have one at the moment. Um, so I'll have to look into that some more. I accidentally forgot to hit record before putting it on but there is the new EEPROM on there here's his old EEPROM and let's go ahead and power it up and so this one doesn't have steering wheel controls because it didn't pop up asking uh, and then there we go so Let's uh, finish putting this together. Let's get these new bulbs on here, put those motors back on, and try to clean off some of this waxy stuff. Almost forgot to start recording again. Well, I did forget. I've got one LED on, but let's go ahead and finish this up. Remember, the board doesn't deserve to be comfortable. You do, so...
Okay, got all the LEDs on. Let's test them real quick before I put these two motors on. All of them seem to be good, so let's go ahead and get these two motors on. Alright, well, I'm going to call this uh, repair probably done. Uh, I'm just going to put it back together. And you all don't need to really see how I put it back together. You've seen it before. Um, and then I'll show you it once it's done being put back together. So just give me a second here. Okay, well, as you can see, I got it back together. We have a working odometer now. It no longer says odometer error. And we have a working button. So everything's working on here. Um, you know, so with the previous repair on here, uh, I wouldn't fully fault him for the lifted solder pad on the back. You know, that, that does just happen sometimes. Uh, you know, you can be as careful as you can with these boards. They're pretty sensitive to heat, so, you know, it occasionally happens. Your pad, and as long as you deal with it uh, in a proper way, it's really not that big of a deal. And he did. He, he got it on there, and uh, he didn't run a jumper wire, but he, it was just a lifted pad. The... Uh, so he had pushed it down and soldered to it, so it really wasn't that bad. Um, so wouldn't fault him there. Definitely would give him credit for using good bulbs, because he did this repair about two years ago, and the bulbs are still working. A lot of these guys use the cheapest bulb you can find on eBay, and then they quit working after um, six months to a year. So I won't fault him on his bulb choice. Um, I know this is kind of their toy truck. It's not their daily driver. Um... I, I think they said, or, or it was a present for their son. It was one of the two. So, yeah, he the work was done right at two years ago because it was 11-22-2017. And, yeah, it was Ron up in Albany that did it. Um, so, yeah, the where I fault him is if you're doing these repairs, you should know how to fix an odometer error. And you definitely shouldn't just give it back to them as is and just be like, yep, can't fix it, but you already paid me, so get gone uh <laughs> pretty much what he told them so you know if if you have a problem if you don't do it right to, you know don't 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 charge him full price at least give him a discount i don't know he charges more than i do and he should know how to fix that i mean this is this is a super easy repair um all what really took me so long was cleaning up uh all that wax all over the board. I tried to get as much of it off as I could. I couldn't get it all off. I'm really not too concerned with it. It's definitely some sort of wax, so shouldn't cause any problems. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys uh, learned a little something. I, I think I've showed, I may have shown how to do odometer error before, but I just wanted to show again, like, you know, this isn't right doing that, you know, just, I don't know. If you don't know how to do that repair, don't take these on. Like, power it up before you start, at least. You know, plug it in, power it up. You see odometer error, be like, hey, I can't fix this. No charge. Give it back to them. Don't start your repair. Always power them up before you start. Uh, that's, uh, God, that'd be... I, I've made that mistake before of doing one without powering it on first. And uh, ran into that one, had a dead main IC on it, and... That was one I couldn't do anything for. So it was frustrating because I did all that work and couldn't charge them because I do no fix, no fee. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was annoying because I did a lot of work for, for no reason. So always power them up before you get started and learn how to fix these. It's pretty easy. It's like a $30 tool. And, uh, 
you know, you just got to acquire some dumps. But the more clusters you fix, the more dumps you get. You can get a couple off the internet. Um, so, yeah, the, hope you liked this. Uh, you know, give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it the thumbs down. And uh, share and subscribe. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.